Okay, start. Okay, get the ocean. This is our factory. Ah, this is you came, right? Oh, Nicholas. Welcome. Okay, this is a factory and oh, our old friend. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, today, uh, put it here. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. We, we will have a simple introduction of the BMS system for you. The battery management system. Oh. This is a very complicated system. So today I only like to do some simple introduction because to learn everything is like very professional. Uh, first of all, this is how uh, how the BMS system works. We collect the voltage, the voltage, the temperature, and the current data from the cell from from the cell and from the pack from the cell, every cell of the battery and the pack battery. And we could output we with the analyze of BMS system, we could have state of charge, how many percentage left, state of health, and the safe operating envelope, and the force and the status. This is how the how all the BMS system works. And for our smart BMS, what's the difference? The main part is we could get this SOC, SOH, SOE, and this more accurate. This is the first point. And the second point is our BMS system, smart BMS, could communicate with our controllers. And as you all know, we're going to launch our Tavern app. That means that, that means all the BMS, the data, the status, everything you could check it, it's visible on our app. More accurate data and the communicate with controller. This is the main difference. Next, I will like point out some main advantage of our smart BMS for you. You know the normal normal BM system. They wo it works like this, the same function. But uh, as it couldn't communicate with controller, it means if something if if it tests there is something wrong with this battery, it will directly cut it down. It means that for the normal BMS, it's like to be or not to be. You battery. If there's something wrong, they just cut it. If it works well, it's wrong well. And for our smart BMS, for our smart BMS, we are like a doctor. We are not only like um, analyze these things, we could also heal. Let me explain to you the uh, main six advantages of our smart BMS. It's, actually, it's not only six advantage. I just uh, uh, list some like some advantage that is very simple to explain to you. You know, the for BMS, 
its main function is to keep the battery safe, keep the battery reliable, and to have better performance of BMS. And for our smart BMS, first of all, we could check we could check if you are using the correct charger. You know, in most of your house, you will have many chargers, and it often happens that you take the wrong charger. Some some of you may have many scooters from many brands, many models, and this charger check could confirm that. If you use the wrong charger, you know it will damage the battery. If you if you use the wrong charger, they could our system could check it out and let you know in our application. It's it's not only check, it's only visible in application. It means if you use the wrong charger in the app, you will see like charger fault. Then like for normal BMS, you will simply like the battery doesn't work. Why? You don't know why. But with our smart BMS, you will know, oh, that is the problem from the charger. So the first point is the check of charger. They are just do like simple application. The second one is for the normal BMS. They only have like one test point for the temperature. As I know, as I said, it's the import of temperature. Most of the BMS only test one point, but we have seven points. Three points in the cell, battery cell, and two points in the MOS, and two points in the PCB board. So I think it's very easy to understand and with more test points, like the data will be more accurate. I, I, I don't think there's like, like need to further add like further, further <coughs> explanation that seven compare with one test point. So we, this is our second point. And the third point is we have alarm system. You could see this alarm system in our app. We will launch, we will have a, like, let me show about app later. Means that if there is something wrong with the battery, you will not have to wait it to cut the battery. You will not wait until that the battery doesn't work, the scooter doesn't work. We will alarm first like something wrong with temperature, with, with voltage, it will let you know first so you could like, fix it in time or do some, do some action to avoid the battery from like large damage. So this is alarm system, alarm in advance. With alarm, alarm system, it will be like super safe. And the fourth part, um, how to say it? It's smart seal voltage balance. You know, in uh, in the pack of battery, we will like we will have many many seals. A pack of battery with like series connection, parallel track connection. For example, it has four point two volt. You like battery, you charge it and discharge, charge, bet, like, um, how to say, electric city in, out, in, out, and for after like many times of charge, it will have errors. Means that maybe this one becomes, maybe this is still, it's, it's, it's for example. Without smart BMS, the normal BS, BMS has nothing to do with it. It becomes like this, and the whole voltage 
will like depend on the minimum one. Means if you have one, yeah, if, if you have seven cells, for example, and your voltage will become, for example, so for the normal BMS, you have nothing to do with it. But with our smart BMS, we have like smart balance system to keep it in the same level, to try to keep it in the same level. This is our smart cell voltage balance system. This is the fourth point. And the fifth point, very, very interesting one, is the energy collect. You know, when you go down the hill, when your scooter, your scooter like go up, down, up, down, or like running in a, in a flat way, when you go down the hill, we could collect your energy. And what is the exciting part? That is, this energy collect is visible on our application means you will know that how many voltage, how many energy you have collected in that day in, in, in one time running. It's, you, you will find this very the visible part. The interesting part is the visible part. And many brands or like some brands, some scooters uh, see that they have this energy collect system, but like some of them doesn't really have. Yeah, we don't talk about details. Now, now it's visible and it's actual energy collect. Okay, the six. Our BMS have self test. Uh, Means that it's only it's not only test the battery, it's it's also test itself. If something wrong with itself, it will let you know in the application. That sometimes you find that your battery doesn't work, then you, the app will tell you that nothing wrong with the battery. It's just the something wrong with the BMS then you could only change the BMS, BMS. You will always know which the exact part that has problem. Before, when your battery doesn't work, you need to change the whole battery and you don't know why. With smart BMS, you will know why it doesn't work. And maybe before it doesn't work, you will have the space and have the time to fix it in advance. Okay, the last part is the smart current control. You know we test our temperatures. And, and when the temperature goes very, very high beyond the, beyond the, 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 the battery could, could go, normally the BMS will cut your battery when the temperature goes too high. It will simply cut the battery. But our smart control system, when your battery goes very, very high, we will like not simply cut the battery. We will like make the current lower, like speed limit. Means that when you're riding outside in a mountain maybe, or, or like in the, in the, in the forest, and something wrong with the battery, the, 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 the temperature, temperature goes too high, then we will not simply cut it down. Means you could still use your electric scooter, just the speed become lower, like maybe 10, 20 kilometers per hour. So you could still ride to your home or ride to the store to try fix the battery. If not, if, if we simply cut it down, and, and think, I think you will have to call the police to help you move your electric scooter. So this is the last point. And there is something I forgot to say. With our smart BMS, we could control the state of charging, 
is the error less than 3%. Means when you see the percentage of battery, it will be like very, very exact. When you say that that's 90% left, it is 90% left. So we could keep error less than 3%. And the state of health, we could keep the error less than 5%. Uh, if you compare it with normal BMS, you will... Yeah, actually normal BMS couldn't give this accurate number. Also, we have self-learning system. For example, uh, how many times you need when you charge, and how many times you did, like, the electricity go in, go out, they, they like, have self-learning system. Um, it's like self-learning of the whole system with, because the BMS collects all the data it will learn the, how, how is the battery um, how to say it will, be, it will get more and more familiar with your scooter with your battery status so if, because it, if, if we want to uh, explain it, it will be complicated. You only need to know that we have self-learning system. Um, that is the main point of you you could think that the normal BMS is like hardware system and our smart BMS it is it is software system. It has brain, it could learn, it could communicate. It could try to try to be a doctor of your battery. That is the main difference. Um, we will use our smart BMS for all of Tabra models later. For now, we use smart BMS for Fighter Supreme. But in the future, we are going to use it for every of our model. So after we use it, we will keep safe, reliable, and with greater performance of the battery, like longer life. Uh, that's all for today. If you have questions, you could leave your message in our Facebook.